Hi guys. The date today, 22nd of February. No. Oh, okay, so it's exactly one year ago that the cords were cut mm. in the angelic realm, the heavenly realm cords of the souls of the wicked, the unrighteous were cut. So as they die off, then uh, their souls are annihilated. So good news for the righteous and the holy. And uh, just thought we'd go through more of the insanity that so <clears throat> a lot of people uh, have woken up to chemtrails. Uh, most people thinking that they started, you know, 15, 20 years ago. However, <clears throat> digging deeper, of course, you realise that spider's web is being laid for a whole lot longer. And you've heard us talk over and over and over again about the eugenics Society out of London, That's uh, their timeline began in 1878. That's where uh, all of your viruses, the invention of viruses, including AIDS, and um, equine viruses, it all started from 1878. So it should be no surprise to the waking world that uh, chemtrail patents began in 1920. I'm just going to read some of this list. There's actually 158, is that right? Yeah, that's what I found so far. 158 patent numbers Starting here. Starting in 1920. And as the aircrafts uh, developed and climbed higher, they come up with uh, more sophisticated ways of getting these chemicals into the air. And then finally, with the seven, uh, 707s, um, what happened there was I was able to climb to 35,000 feet and then you've got chemtrails really getting into it from the 1960 era. Now, just to give a little background to what it is uh, everybody's been suffering for the last century or so. Revelation 12.12, 12, this came up last night on our uh, Trinity's birthday video. A whole lot of fun, but coupled with uh, a whole lot of seriousness. 12.12, Revelation 12.12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. So we're talking about the evil in mankind. Mankind but is the inventor. I should also add that with the statement you'll read in John 8 44 says that you are of your father the devil a liar and a murderer from the beginning and that's talking about Cain and the Cain descendants is what's mentioned in the book of Enoch and these are of course the uh, present uh, Jews today which are not Jews they are uh, Khazars out of Russia and Mongolians and they've just taken on and of course they're um, uh, method of doing things is to reverse everything. So but suddenly you're not an Israelite, this is the Western nations, you are suddenly a goy, and they are the chosen people when in fact it's uh, total bullshit. So yeah. you may as well take your Bible and hang it up in the toilet and drill a hole in it and wipe your ass on it because it is not, it's just leading you astray. If you want to get into it and what know what it's all about, you have to understand the Great Pyramid and how to measure the earth and uh, read the books of Enoch and the book of Levi and the book of Judah and all these ancient books that predict that these things will occur and that their offspring will fall away and become the monsters that they are today in Europe and uh, America and Australia. And uh, the chemtrails, of course, is just part of the eugenic society. But you name it, they're killing you with it if they can. Mm. So it's, it's the spirit of evil that is in the seed of Cain and that's what has dominated just, I'll go through some of the insanity. Um, the first, we've got five pages that Yar has printed. It was reduced from 13 pages. I'll read several of them. We'll begin with the first one. The pattern number is 1338343, dated April 27th, 1920. Now, the process and apparatus for the production of intense artificial clouds, fogs, or mists. 
in March the 1st, 1927, the protest, process of producing smoke clouds from moving aircraft. June 7th, 1927, electric heater. April 10th, 1928, process of producing artificial fogs. December 27, 1932, atomizing attachment for airplane engine exhausts. So you can see this is the setup for, of course, all of our modern equipment, which uh, is a... Uh, You'll notice the idea then, uh, aircraft exhaust. In other words, you're putting the, these chemicals in with the fuel. Now, with the jet engine, that becomes a much more efficient way of doing it because what they're putting through the fuel is tiny uh, amounts, uh, microscopic rather, of uh, aluminium or aluminium, as you say, in America. And uh, that is uh, one of the methods they use with all commercial jets worldwide, and there's thousands of them. If you look up the encyclopedia, how many jets are in the air at the one time, it's extraordinary to say the least. But on top of that, they are paying contractors to uh, dump hundreds of thousands of gallons of uh, these chemicals all over the world. The funny thing is, the uh, politicians don't get it, they're getting killed too. That's how stupid they are. So basically I've told all politicians and uh, in particular in Australia because I'm here that uh, they are treasonous to uh, humanity mm. and they should be charged and I will charge them and am charging them with crimes against humanity and they'll pay the price I'm sure. You. Just going through some of these, yeah. listen to this. Um, an electric stream generator that was 1937, October 1946 smoke producing mixture, 1945 smoke screen generator, um, April 24th, 1951 process for controlling weather, uh, 1951 October 9th method of crystal formation and precipitation. How much of these crystals are the USA seeing people in their backyards, their gardens, they're everywhere. Um, Lots of like jelly Mm. Substance turning yeah. up all over the place. Well, this yeah. this is back in the fifties. The, the insanity of this is uh, just um, going on this this page. Now I, I read to you the first one: the process and apparatus for the production of intense artificial clouds, fogs, or mists. We'll get down here to um, October the thirteenth, nineteen fifty-nine. A method for dispersing natural atmospheric fogs and clouds. Like why, why, why? I mean, we all know why, but this is the insanity of the evil, this st stupidity. Okay, here we go, December 13th, 1960. Okay, what's the global warming bullshit that's being perpetuated in uh, the politically correct governments of the world and all those still believing that there is a problem? What's it all about? It's the production or the over, man contributing to the overproduction of carbon dioxide, right? Mm -hmm. All right, listen to this. 1960, December 13th. Cloud seeding carbon dioxide bullets. Did you hear that? Cloud seeding carbon dioxide bullets, right? So of you just breathing on the ground or having a shit, or, uh, you know, wandering past a, a, a field of grass-fed cows who are taking a dump mm. and giving off methane and you're being taxed for it because you're breathing. In 1960, cloud seed carbon dioxide bullet. This was a patent, patent number 296-3975. Of course, this is all before Iron Mountain and all their, their bullshit that the elites put together. Um, silver iodide cloud seeding generator, referenced in a, a, another patent number. That was March 24, 1964. Then you've got the uh, March 31st, 1964, generation of ice nucleating crystals. This is so that they can form hail or, or precipitation. Hail is formed around a crystal of dust, a, a particle of dust or whatever, and it freezes and goes up and falls as Hail, rain, whatever, rain. Electrostatic mixing in microbial conversions, 1964. And then uh, you've got September 20th, 1966, metallic composition for the production of hydroscopic smoke. 
And then January 24th, 1967, get a load of this, means for communication through a layer of ionized gases. And then April 11th, 1967, cloud seeding apparatus. Um, 1967 again, August 29th, heating device for use with aerosol containers. Uh, automatically adjustable airfoil spray system with pump, a rainmaker. February 25th, 1969, if they stop fucking with the fogs, the clouds and everything else that they're trying to manipulate from 1920, they wouldn't have a need for a rainmaker, now would they? Would would they? Hmm. Would we? Of course Leave not. the creation alone. It was perfect from the beginning. But of course, the devil has been cast down to the earth. And so you've got the protocols of Zion, all 24 of them, who are accomplishing what they have set out to do for the last couple of hundred years. Uh, let's just go through a, a few more of these and then we'll get that. Let's skipping right through to more. Um... <laughs> Here we go. June 4th, 1974, so I'm skipping through half a century. Rocket having barium release system to create ion clouds. Barium release system to create ion clouds. Go look up what barium does to the, the body. 1995, tropical cyclone disruption. <laughs> what have we got today? We've got cyclones all over the planet where you can see that the radars and the harp systems have been uh, trying for weeks to get them going. That's what Oswald was all about. They were working on that for weeks. You should say that a cyclone in Australia is a hurricane in the United States. Just different, same thing, different name. Here we go, June 15th, 1999. <laughs> system and method for remediation of selected atmospheric conditions. Okay, right, that's 1999, so we've got all these pages from 1920, so now they need remediation of what they've been fucking with since 1920. <laughs> Insane. And all of the current leaders of the world, we've just sent Julia Gillard some really, really interesting information. Um, Julia at, Gillard is the Prime Minister of Australia. At right? the bottom of this, we'll put the link to, uh, oh, here it is, Queen Elizabeth II. If everybody wants to point the finger at somebody, uh, you know that we've been saying for the longest time that the great whore that rides the beast, which is the corporate beast, uh, Israel, the USA, Britain, etc., of course, is Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, this person, we'll put the link below, has done an excellent job of putting it all together. The black, white, the print of exactly what Lizzie owns has and uh, her suffering. Just, just get a load of this with the insanity. And all of you people out there, Christians in particular, Praying for the Queen, I suppose. Well, you'll go the way she is. She's had it out of here. Look, during the 1930s depression, when a third of British children suffered growth defects caused by constant hunger, rickets, little Lizzie, the present Queen, had her own child-sized six-room thatched house in the gardens of Royal Lodge, Royal Windsor Great Park, three miles south of Windsor Castle. The Times reported the small house is fully furnished with running water, electric light and a wireless Architect John Nash rebuilt Royal Lodge for the depraved preeny George IV. It became one of the Queen Mum's many homes. She died there, aged 101, pickled in the finest gin others people, other people's money can buy. This site has done a really good job of putting together the theft. The Queen of Thebes, all right, sets it all out very clearly. The history, what she has done in her own lifetime. And, of course, she's at the top of the heap. And... Uh, the dude that uh, has put her at the top of the heap, of course, is the house of Rothschild. So, um, 
uh, goes on and on. It's really quite thrilling to uh, read it all, puts it into perspective. <laughs> yep, talks about how she owns nuclear power stations and uh, reaps the benefit, of course, from all of her major shareholders in Rio Tinto, which is all about the mining of uranium, to uh, provide her nuclear power stations. They, she owns the energy of the planet. So, Queenie, dear, you're out of here. And that rhymes. So looking forward to it. All right. Anyway, we'll put the link for this. Mm -hmm. we'll put a link. Yeah. We can put this up on WordPress of these five pages. Just go through it. The, the, the insanity of um, mankind and uh, what they've given themselves over to. This comes um, black and white. Here we go. What is legal and or corrupt? This is uh, getting back to the collapse of the corporations through the filing of the UCC document on behalf of all mankind. Uh, it's going to be interesting how that one pans out. Do you know that all governments and states in Australia are private companies? Here's a list, just going through the list here, of uh, the private companies and their numbers, the ACN, which is the Australian Corporation number. For example, you heard the upload last night while well, I was pulled over by a, um, an employee of the Queensland Police Service. Uh, the Queensland Police Service ACN is 05104-5320. Company name, all capital letters, Queensland Police Service. You've got the Queensland Police Department. These all have their ACNs beside them. Queensland Police Service Sarnia, Queensland Police Sergeant Golding. Um, yeah, police officers themselves are registered as private companies. You've got the Toowoomba Police Station. You've got the Queensland Police Professional Standards Unit. You've got a J.M. Graham Queensland Police Service. So that's an individual. These are, are uh, names that are police um, uh, private corporations. Then you've got, uh, speaking of the great whore, Riding the corporate beast, Her Royal Highness Queen Elizabeth II for the state for state and government of New South Wales, and that ACN is zero five seven six nine three zero six two. Continuing Queensland Police Townsville, Queensland Police Service Brian Swift, David Rinning, Queensland Police Department, Armed Forces Federation of Australia Incorporated zero eight eight zero seven eight 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 seven nine six six. Then you've got um, Queensland Police Service, LD Gutteridge, and it goes on and on and on. And then you've got the ACN for the Federal Court of Australia, which of course is a private company, 0524240030. So this is just a little overview. What is illegal and or corrupt? You've got Australian government, state governments, local governments, banking. And then you've got again, Legal profession, federal courts, state courts, the taxation office, ATO. What is illegal and corrupt? Police, land titles office, newspaper, TV and radio. So do you know that there is a private company in New South Wales? Yeah, well, I just covered that one. So anyway, that's just a little printout there. Um, well, it's about 20 pages, though. Yes, yes, there, there is. I've read to you just a, a few. It goes on and on and on because all souls that have been born into the Western worlds and have a registered, well, parents have filled out a birth registration that goes over to create, through the courts, a birth certificate, which is in fact your death certificate because it's in all capital letters, turns you into a corporation and uh, thereafter you know nothing and you're a slave to the system. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth, for the devil has been cast down to you. Anyway, the good news is that these dudes are um, on their last legs. Literally, they are panicking, panicking, because people are alerted now to what's going on. Uh, doesn't change the judgment. That's happening. Come what may, it's amazing the lack of uh, lack of talk about judgment, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's the one thing nobody wants to talk about. <laughs> you see, you cannot 
remain in heaven and denying the Creator, the one who gave you life in the first place. So for all of you free willists out there who uh, deny the existence of God as the original Creator, it all began with Him. And yes, we are an extension of Him, but you must be aware of it and acknowledge it to continue your existence. Somewhere along the line, all of you are going to be on your knees if you want to continue your existence. Because it's nothing to pull the plug and very quickly remove all of those who refuse to bow. And that's what your angels are for. They are the two witnesses. They've been watching your every move. They know your every thought. They know everything. And they've been working for God. All this time to sort it all out, the tears from the wheat. Alex Jones, you are the prince of the power of the air. You are the gatekeeper to hell. You are the gatekeeper to the prison planet. It's you, buddy, and you know it. That's your role and your job description. All of those who have no light in their eyes, you can look at them, you can see them on screen, where there is no light. The light, the windows of the soul are the eyes. If you cannot see light within a person's eyes, that's because there's nobody there. They are already dead. Right? <laughs> it's all about the light. <laughs> Better be radiating. <laughs> Anything else? That's it. That's it? That's it. All right. Let it go to sleep.